Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 11th of 2025 is titled Manicouagan Impact Crater from Space. So, what do we see here? Well, off to the right side of the image, we see a round feature, and that is actually an impact crater here on Earth. Now, we see impact craters all over the solar system, including a lot of them on our own moon. And in fact, the moon is very heavily cratered. However, there are also well, well over a hundred impact craters here on Earth. They just are not usually as prominent. They tend to get worn down quickly and don't stand out the way the impact craters do on the moon. Now, this impact crater imaged from space from the International Space Station, looking out over Canada and part of it in Quebec here, we see the round structure of that impact crater that is left. Now, this occurred a couple hundred million years ago and is likely the impact of something that was about five kilometers or three miles in diameter. And when an object strikes, it will create an impact crater that is many times the size of the object itself. So in this case, we had something about five kilometers in size. The impact crater is about a hundred kilometers in diameter. So it, the massive explosion that occurs when the large object strikes Earth, throwing out a lot of material and digging out a much bigger crater than the object itself. That's just how much energy it strikes with because of the high velocities with which it hits. Now, as I said, there are a number of impact craters here on Earth, and in fact, Meteor Crater in Arizona is another prominent example that has occurred. In fact, that's a relatively sharp and younger crater that we see. But there are others scattered around the world, and it's a little less than about 200 that exist of a decent size on Earth. Now, impact craters tell us something about how old the surface is. Not how old the planet is. The planets are all about four and a half billion years old, and that would include the planets and their moons, as well as asteroids and other objects. But the surfaces can be of different ages, and that's because they get reworked by weathering and by geological activity. So some objects have very few craters. Earth is one example of those with less than 200. Some of the moons of Jupiter have even less than that. Their surfaces are constantly being reworked. Other objects like our moon and Mercury have many craters and have been impacted for billions of years with no way to wipe out the evidence of those craters as an object, larger object like Earth has been able to do. So we look at those and we can count numbers of craters on a surface or even on a par portion of the surface to give us a rough idea of how long it's been since that portion of the surface has been reworked. Now, we also look and study for objects because large enough objects can cause significant damage. Certainly here, this caused a crater 100 kilometers in diameter and would have affected areas even farther away than that. Even larger impacts caused things like the extinction of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. So some like this would be localized to a certain area and wouldn't have caused too much damage a few hundred kilometers farther away. Larger impacts can cause even more damage, and that's why we monitor trying to keep track of as many big objects as we can and look for those that have the potential of striking Earth. So that was our picture of the day for October 11th of 2025. It was titled Manicouagan Impact Crater from Space. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Water World. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.